What's up, Hope City family? My name is Josh, and I'm so excited to be with you today as we join in prayer together for greater alignment with God. When I hear that word alignment, my mind goes to a recent experience I had with some close friends. We were going on a short trip, and while it wasn't my car, I volunteered to drive us, but as soon as we got on the highway, I knew that something was off. Specifically, I knew that the car had an alignment issue. In this instance, the indicator was that in this nice, relatively new car, started to get shaky at a speed we should have had no problem traveling at. Most likely, my friend had hit some potholes in her car, caught a couple of curbs she shouldn't have seen, should have seen and didn't, or maybe it wasn't her fault at all. Maybe something had blown into her path and by the time she saw it, it was just too late to avoid. Either way, the damage had been done and her car was out of alignment. In that moment, what I explained to her was that throughout the life of a car, it will encounter things that will knock it out of alignment that from the factory, its tires and suspension are oriented in a certain way, allowing it to function to the best of its ability. But over time, due to outside forces, that alignment can fade. The good news, however, is that all it takes is a short trip to the mechanic where they aren't so concerned about the bumps that were hit, but really are just interested in bringing the car back into alignment. And this is the important part, according to how it was intentionally designed and engineered by its manufacturer. Much in the same way, God's created us and designed us with an intent as to how we are to live. He's let us know what we're to avoid, and what will bring pain and sorrow into our lives, but sometimes willingly and oftentimes unintentionally, we encounter things along our journey that ultimately, and maybe imperceptibly, start to pull us away from how we were designed to live. In Psalms 139 verses 23 and 24, David, a man who God blesses abundantly and describes as being after his own heart, prayed this prayer. He said, search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. And this is what it looks like to align with God. It's to ask God to reveal anything that's offensive, anything that's against his will, and to repent and exchange it for his path for us. The Bible reinforces this in Psalms 1, verses 1 through 3, where it says this, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Maybe you're of the opinion that a life lived for God, following all his ways is bound to be bland or boring. Maybe if you're honest, you feel like it will cost you something that you're just not ready to give up yet. But the opposite is true. It'll take courage to believe this, but when you live according to God's ways and in alignment with God's plan and purpose over your life, your life will be preserved and will take shape with a joy, a peace, and a purpose that surpasses all understanding. And believe me, friends, there's no better way to live than in alignment with the kind, gracious, and loving God who made you and who will restore you. So together, through prayer, let's come into alignment today with God right now. Lord Jesus, search our hearts. If there's anything in us that offends you, any way that we're living that's gone against your design, Lord, whether it's been an intentional journey away from your ways out of pride saying we know better in this instance or that instance or God maybe it's been unintentional maybe we've been subjected to some sort of event or trauma or happening that's just caused a deviation it's been a bump in the road of our journey of life and we've started to feel ourselves distanced with you but thank you that you are a God who delights in bringing us back into alignment with you Lord thank you that through your word you've made it possible for us to come into alignment with you. Through community in the church, brothers and sisters who sharpen us like iron sharpens iron, you've made it possible for us to come into alignment with you. So right now, Lord, today and every day forward, we ask this, would you help us walk more in step with you so that we can walk more in the fullness and the plan and the purpose that you've created for us? I pray this over every single one of us today, Lord Jesus, that you would start to draw our hearts back to you, that as we desperately and passionately pursue you, Lord, we'd find that you're closer than a brother, that you're active and willing to encounter us in every area of our life. So we love you, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity 
for the grace that allows us to step back into alignment with you. We thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen.